just want to start off by saying thank you. Thank you all, all the community members that have stepped up at this time of need. You know, as we adapt through this difficult time, it is important that we continue to be there for each other. And I can ad lib a little bit from the script. I can tell you that people have been just awfully kind to my wife and I. They're knocking on the door all the time, volunteering stuff. So I just want to say is thank you again to everyone. And I want everyone to know that we're working around the clock with the county and the state to provide information to the residents and business owners owners throughout Canyon Lake. It's important that we do our best to stay home and abide by the executive order that has been issued by the governor's office. At City Hall we are practicing social distancing and working with business owners and community members to help everyone understand what services and activities are considered essential and those that are non-essential. The only way we can get through this is by working together. So at this time, I'd like to ask our Mayor Pro Tem Casey Castillo to provide, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, to provide some positive information about what our community has been doing to step up in this time of need. Hey, Canyon Lakers. I'm Casey Castillo here just wanting to touch base with you and say thank you so much. I have been continuously inspired by our community. You know, I am on social media just like most of you, and it's been so heartwarming to see our community members really come together and offer assistance to those who are elderly or who maybe have autoimmune diseases and are unable and uncomfortable going out shopping. Our market is open both um, in the Eastport and in the town center. And as a business owner here in Canyon Lake myself, you know, I know it's very hard for all of us to just kind of put the brakes on work and regular life, but it's been a great, great um, showing of our spirit in Canyon Lake just with just how much people are willing to take a time out and work through this together. Um, I've noticed that a lot of our restaurants are still open for delivery and takeout. We picked up some from the Urban last night. So I would encourage all of you to continue to support these businesses that can be open during this time because obviously we want them to stay around. Um, additionally, I would say thank you to all those teachers who I've noticed have been popping up on social media, offering services for those kids who are now being homeschooled. You know, this is a great community. It's an amazing city and I know we're gonna get through this together. So just thank you, and as um, our staff has said, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us. Um, we're available at any point to answer your questions, and if we can give you some peace of mind by answering questions as opposed to you worrying about something that we have an answer to, we will absolutely make sure that we can get that answer for you. Thanks. Yes. Okay, thank you. At this time, I'd like to ask our city manager, Chris Mann to give an update on the steps that the city has been taking to protect and inform the community. Mr. City Manager. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We want the community to know that your city government is working hard for you during this challenging time. Although City Hall is closed to the public, city staff remain at work and are available by phone and email should you need assistance. We want to encourage everyone to take this pandemic seriously. Please stay at home. The city is actively working to gain community compliance with the governor's stay home executive order, as well as the county health officer's order pertaining to gatherings. The state has ordered that all non-essential, professional, social, and community gatherings should be postponed or canceled. The city and the POA have both canceled all in-person functions and closed facilities to the public, including city hall, POA offices, the senior center, the golf course, tennis courts, pickleball courts, and playgrounds. The city's enforcement department has been working to educate local businesses on what services are considered essential and which are considered non-essential and therefore must be closed. Following the governor's executive order on the evening of April 19th, 
City Code Enforcement Department personnel were called back to work at approximately 9 o'clock p.m. They worked until midnight patrolling the community and posting copies of the governor's executive order on the doors of businesses within the city. First thing the following morning, they were back at it, doing rounds in the town center, talking with concerned business owners, and patrolling the streets both inside and outside of the gates. We have stepped up enforcement department patrols in order to discourage crime, have placed continually updated information on the city's website and Facebook page, have sent those links to the Friday Flyer, and have sent several notices through our Code Red emergency notification system. In addition, on Thursday, March 19th, acting as the Director of Emergency Services for the City of Canyon Lake, I signed a proclamation declaring a local emergency due to the novel coronavirus, also referred to as COVID-19, pandemic. That declaration was ratified by the City Council on Wednesday, March 25th. The timing of this declaration is based on information received from the county indicating several confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Southwest Riverside County. The local emergency declaration will make the city eligible to request resources, including financial support and reimbursement from the State Office of Emergency Services and the Federal Emergency Management Agency for costs incurred responding to the COVID-19 outbreak. In addition, under the local emergency declaration, the city has wider ranging authority under its police powers to issue orders intended to protect the health, safety, and property of the community. It also allows for expedited purchasing and contracting and provides limited immunity for emergency actions taken by the public employees and the city council. We continue to coordinate the city's response with the County Department of Public Health, County Emergency Management Department, and the, and the California Office of Emergency Services. Lastly, I would like to encourage the community to visit the city's website for up-to-date information on the COVID-19 crisis. The address is there on the bottom of your screen. There's a lot of information there and city staff are updating the site on a daily basis. Thank you for watching. Mr. Mayor, back to you. Well, Canyon Lake has always been a very special place. The people here are kind, generous, and engaged with each other. Because of this, I'm confident that we will get through these difficult times together. Excuse me. Please continue checking the city's website for updates. And don't hesitate to reach out to the city hall if there's anything we can do to be of assistance. So thank you very much for watching.